Oh, <laughs> hey, Rooter people, it's Kamal Bigham of the Rooter Project here to leave you guys with a new video. Um, I'm definitely very excited about the message that I'm choosing to share with you guys today. Um, definitely a very power, powerful, um, unique, and um, more of so spiritual message. Um, all my messages, I believe, are rooted in spirituality, but this definitely goes to the core of what it is to be you and be us, to be we. Um, and the question is simply, and I've asked this before, I've talked about it before, but the question becomes, who am I? And who are we? And when you hear that question, you know, lots of times we hear it, we talk about it. I, well, I, was, I talk about it with my circle of friends. I bring it up, you know, and it's a question that should be asked because it's a very crucial question to what it is to be you. I mean, who are you really? Like, are you your job? Are you your financial ability? Are you where you're from? Are you the way you talk? Are you the way you dress? Are you the way you are? Are you a friend? Are you a family member? Are you so many things that, you know, are you love? Are you compassion? Are you peace? Are you joy? Are you enlightenment, prosperity? Things of that nature. I mean, it's it's a my it's a huge plethora of words that we can put into that to express who we are. But at the end of the day, it's not about what your answer is in regards to how others perceive it. It's about how you perceive what your answer is and how you how you feel about that answer. Cause it's just you and you at the end of the day. And you know, lots of times we find ourselves in a, in this kind of I don't know. It's like a comparison thing. It's like it's always the other, me and the other. It's it's living through me, or am I living caring about what other people think about me? And I think, well, I don't think I know from life experience when we live that way. When it comes to things as crucial as intrinsic as a question of who am I, it becomes huge. I mean, if you allow others to adjust how you choose to act or choose to even feel about yourself then a lot needs to be discovered and defined about the question of who are you because who are you is here before any of that happens before uh you know somebody disrespects you before you see something that pisses you off or that you like or that you love or you're uneasy about or ruffles your feather feathers before you get the job opportunity before you get fired before all these things that seem to happen that lots of times we find ourselves defining ourselves within once we realize and step back and realize no I am and all this is just more so a reaction to who and what I am so I want to share this message because I want to not just kind of speak on it and possibly give new information on it or get your minds thinking, but more, that's it. I want to get the conversation going and getting people thinking about that because I don't have the answer for that for you because it's, once again, it's you and you and that's it. And I'm not here to tell you how to live. I'm not here to tell you, you know, you're this or that. I'm here to help guide you and help you find you. So with that said, I want to kind of bring it back to what really influenced me to bring this up. Because lately, I've been really being pulled to try new things and go different routes. And my living situation is going to change. And I'm moving to a new area. And I'm getting new goals and new visions for Rooted Project and Rooted Fitness. All these things are happening in my life. And of course, there's a lot of push offness there's a lot of I'll be honest with you there's a lot of oh what if it don't work what if this happens what if that happens and honestly you have to get to a point where you kind of have to step out on faith and I'm using the word faith not just from a spiritual perspective of your relationship with God but more not more so but also in relation to your relationship with yourself because when we talk about the question who am I I think the biggest thing is understanding new ways of reintroducing yourself to yourself. And if we live a life of repetition, if we live a life of the same situations, uh, you know, the all in new faces, different situations, or 
new places of living, same situations, uh, new jobs, same feeling of I don't like this stuff, I want to get, you know, all this stuff, and it becomes repetitive, and it's like the question really becomes, are you really allowing yourself to discover yourself? Are you choosing the safe option? Are you really living on faith, really? Are you really getting that feeling in your chest when you're like, ah, this is a step, but I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm going to walk through that door? You know what I'm saying? Are, are you really taking it there? And if you are, beautiful. And if you are, keep it up. Push harder, I would say to that. But if, if you're not feeling that and you don't know the last time you feel that and you're feeling a little scared, a little insecure, a little fear-based, fear, a, a lot of different things could be going through your mind in terms of stepping out of your comfort zone, always having to be the responsible one, always having to be the one to help people and um, be the, the catalyst for what it is to be good. But deep inside, you know you got your own battles going on. All these things that are true to all of us. And so we go to the question again, who am I? And I'm, I'm challenging you all, just like I'm challenging myself. It's like, push yourself for real and walk on faith. Let it go. Because I'm telling you now, the question of, the answer of who am I is not a simple, I am this, I am that part of it, obviously. But the biggest part about the question of who am I is I'm discovering, my, I'm discovering myself daily. On a daily basis, I'm learning new things about myself. And don't think that you're adding to yourself. No, you're just discovering what was already there. So putting yourself in positions to discover yourself, putting yourself in positions to create new types of friendships, work environment, situations, um, creativity, um, self, health, fitness, um, spirituality. Just branch out, man, because I don't believe that we were put with all these options just to stay in one lane. So against that. There's so many things out there, so many people out there for us. I tell my friends all the time, how many friends do you have? You know, most people, four or five, that's a lot, actually. You know, like in terms of people you talk to. Do you know how many people in the world? Think about that. How many people in the world versus how many people you're socializing with? Now, this should, now think about that, and not only just look at it in terms of people, now think about your abilities. Think about your creativity. Think about your job. Think about how much money you make or how much, all that stuff. Like, compared to what's out here, are we really stepping out? Are we staying in this ball? Because who am I is not this. Who am I is the opposite. Who am I is freedom. Who am I is expanding. Who am I is evolving. So I don't want to leave you guys too long. You know, this is definitely a deeper topic that can go and go and go. And I'm definitely going to do some forums on this rooted conversation. We'll be hitting L.A. very soon. Really excited about that. And so I really want to go into this and really get the wheels rolling on this because this is huge. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter about how successful you become. It doesn't matter about, you know, what you are, the relationship you've gotten. It matters, yeah, from a, from a, from a, that's a lot of S, right? From a symbolic space, but from a substance space, what does it matter if you don't know who you are in the, in the mix of all of this? Because as I said, who you are is already who you are. I am. Everything else is just a reflection. So, thank you all. I appreciate you. Follow up, respond, reach out. Root of Fitness is doing great things out here. We're reaching more and more people daily. And I respect and love all of you. Thank you. Blessings.